Welcome to Going the Extra Mile, a podcast brought to you by New Leaf Training and Development. Each edition is sure to lift your spirit and encourage you in today's working world. Enjoy. What a team. Apparently about a billion people will watch the Soccer World Cup final on Sunday, December the 18th. All this talk about soccer teams got me thinking about work teams. Just like you, I'm sure, I've worked on superb teams and some that lost their game early on. And in doing so, the team members chose to change teams and move to other workplaces. My observation has been that most teams don't work. I would regard most teams as mediocre at best. At the root of our sub-optimal teams is always ineffective leadership. I see a parallel with parenting. When we have dysfunctional, disrespectful and disobedient children, we have to look at the parenting. Likewise, when I see poor teamwork, we have to look at the quality of the leadership. There have been so many times over the last 17 years when we at New Leaf Training and Development have been contacted by leaders who ask if we do team building or whether we can inject some energy into the team or most recently we were asked to rally the troops. Our findings have proven that in the majority of cases, the root of the issue is poor leadership. As an analogy, it's as if leadership is the root of the tree and the performance of the team is simply the quality of the fruit when the root is healthy. Coming back to soccer, there's an indisputable correlation between the results of the team and the quality of the coach's leadership. I'm reminded of the late great England soccer coach, Sir Alf Ramsey, who guided England to win the World Cup in 1966. When asked by a reporter about the intensity of his leadership, he responded by saying, A lot of people tell me, Alf, soccer is not a matter of life and death. I always respond by telling them, I agree, it's much more important than that. If only more workplace leaders had at least 10% of the passion and intentionality that the late Sir Alf Ramsey had. The closest I've seen a leader come to the Alfie standard, as I call it, is with a leader called Nate. I won't give his name or call out the name of his employer, but in my opinion, he's perhaps one of the best team leaders we've had the honour of partnering with as a training and development company. Nate has the intensity of Alf Ramsey, but also, just like Alf, he has a humble manner about him. I've never heard Nate shout at his team. He works hard and unsurprisingly, his team also works very hard. He's very respectful towards each member of his team and his team are respectful to each other. Even when he has to make tough decisions such as laying someone off or moving duties around, I've witnessed the way he does what he does, honourably. Nate doesn't have favourites. I'm sure he prefers socialising with some team members more than others, but you wouldn't see any micro iniquities with Nate. Just like a good soccer coach, Nate is laser focused on the team's performance. He knows the lead measures, those three to five key performance indicators most likely to predict his team will win. Nate celebrates success, but he doesn't hog the limelight. I've personally observed his team win big time, but you'll not see Nate front and centre. Where you will find Nate is on the sideline, applauding his team for a job well done. So it may be the final whistle on the Soccer World Cup competition will soon blow, at least for another four years. But in the meantime, if we're leaders of teams or owners of businesses, we can endeavour to be the best coaches we can be. Remember the quality of your... Remember the quality of the fruit, in other words, your team's results, is directly related to the healthiness of the root of your leadership. As employees or entrepreneurs, we invest so much time at work, why not choose to make the best contribution you can? Our work is not just a matter of life and death, it's much more important than that. I hope you found that short story useful, and if you did, feel free to rate, review, and share this podcast. We'll be back next week with another episode, and we also invite you to check out our other weekly podcast, Take 5, an inspiring interview with a leader worth listening to. Bye for now.